hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today's gist is on yomi fabi he has put out a stern warning out there that people should not believe what they read on the internet and this is after he saw in a blog post where a net worth of 2.4 million naira was said to have been his net worth well he went ahead to clear the year stating that she she no day ground this net worth sitting pretty on the internet is nothing close to what he has he is not up to this as people have concluded he is one person who doesn't live a fake life he lives his truth he travels his truth so therefore he cannot claim such net worth of 2.4 million dollars it is not accurate well this comes after two popular nollywood actors in the Igbo sector got kidnapped on their way back from work and they are demanding millions of dollars millions of dollars and of course the association Hollywood at large actor guild of nigeria have all put out this saying that the amount demanded by these people is unrealistic and can never be met well yomi fabi and several other actors have also come out to clear the air that hmm, this information sitting pretty on the internet is not accurate and it is dangerous because most of these kidnappers assume they have this much money but in actual truth they don't have up to this sharing this piece of information yomi fabi added a caption saying danger one a net word here is fake two age wrong three marital status wrong four states of origin correct anyways the focal point here is the net worth please every actions and decisions taken on our behalf online have adverse effect i've never opened fake account in my life nor live a fake life i travel with my truth hard work and got only i am no much fan of excessive or overblown packaging 2.5 million dollars Kuku Kimi, I'm not hungry and I am not full either. Miyoyo, Ibiyo Dekpami, please oh, whoever put this kind of info up should keep it down or edit net worth as moderate. Again, I was born 1st of May and not 31st May. More so, I am over 40 years. Most importantly, help adjust the dollars net worth ASAP. Kobo no de groundo and must you use dollars for the packaging? Thank you, Yomi Fabi. This was what was shared by Yomi Fabi on social media. Considering the amount kidnappers are demanding over the two actors who were kidnapped. In the comment sections, there were different reactions. Some people laughed it out, some people said it is true, some people took it seriously. Here are what people had to say in the comment section a user said yummy you don't know want make them come kidnap your b another user said baba first claim the network or make you add then say amen another user said eggbon your network now prayer just claim it another user said i never knew you were from ogun state please wear in ogun state another user said you might worth more than that amount more blessing to you well, responding to some of this, Yomi Fabi said, claiming something now can put one into trouble. I don't even have that kind of money. Emma Koba Mio. Another user said, leave prayer now. Reality check. Lay you. A Joe. Well, once again, guys, this page doesn't support any form of violence whatsoever. Any anti-government propaganda whatsoever. We're just stating it as it is. Back to Yomi Fabi and the actors who got kidnapped he also went ahead to share to let the world know if in case he ever gets to this kidnappers site to know that the amount they are demanding is unrealistic and they cannot meet such demands well responding to the demands of the kidnappers who had earlier demanded that they wanted a hundred thousand dollars as ransom for both of them appealing to them yom fabi also shared on his instagram page which says i wish to humbly appeal to you our brothers holding these two actors to consider releasing this hard-working entertainers unconditionally the ransom place is near impossible if you presume colleagues and their family can reach such amounts Few makers in Nigeria are not flowing in cash as you all envisage or see in movies. Piracy and lack of government support is militating against the industry hugely and our individual financial growth. 
Believe them if they already echo this sentiment to you. The passion and love for the industry is why most still linger. These two are just entertainers who sacrifices their sweat, time and energy to relieve so many Nigerians of stress and depression including you and your families if you are Nigerians and fans of Nollywood movies. They are older, weaker and we need your kind heart and consideration in this regard. They can never be any threat to you in any form if you release them. Trust me. So no be go a job, please. With respect and plea, Yomi Fabi concerned colleague. This was Yomi Fabi sharing this as well, stating that these two Eterian actors are just following their passion to entertain Nigerians who love and appreciate their crafts. Actress Cynthia Okereke and Clemson Connell were suspected initially to have been kidnapped as both actors failed to return from a movie set in Ozala town in Enugu state. The Actors Guild of Nigeria confirmed this development in the statement released later in the afternoon three days ago and here was what they had to say that the two members of the Actors Guild, Cynthia Okereke and Clemson Connell aka Agbogidi were reportedly missing after their family members confirmed they did not come back from a film location in Ozala town, Enugu state. The two members were suspected to have been kidnapped and this has increased fear amongst members about safety of actors filming in the country. In view of this sad development, the national president of the guild has instructed all actors to avoid going to outskirts of cities to film except full security cover is provided to ensure their safety. The national president is shocked over this ugly incident and urged the security agencies to speed up investigation that would lead to their safe rescue. He equally appealed to all members to pray for the safe return of the thespians. Well, this was the statement released by the president letting the world know what exactly is going on. And eventually, these abductors responded saying they want $100,000 as their ransom this action alone has put a lot of fear in so many actors and actresses both in Yibo and yoruba everyone is trying as much as possible to cover up for themselves as much as they can some people have gone ahead to release statements saying that it's not possible to meet up to this kind of demands while some other actors have gone ahead to react after seeing the net worth put on that their bio stating that they don't have up to this amount they are not up to this net what people are claiming they have they don't have up to this amount as most of them are just trying to manage and keep up in fact some audience some fans are way more richer than they actors it's just because they are public figures and people assume they have a lot of money well we hope that these abductors and kidnappers try to reason with this well meaning nigerians and release them as soon as possible guys once again this page doesn't support any form of violence and guys they have it do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.